Good morning and welcome to our service of morning prayer on this Friday the 15th of December. You'll notice that things are a little different today. Um, I am uh, unwell this week. I've been uh, off for um, a few days and uh, so to save you from having to look at my slightly poorly uh, puffy face, um, I am recording sound alone for this service of morning prayer. Um, Hopefully you will still be able to engage with our service in the same way. Let's just spend a moment in quiet as we come before God in prayer. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God of all. To you be praise and glory for ever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that we may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Our reading this morning comes from Matthew chapter 15, starting at verse 29. After Jesus had left that place, he passed along the Sea of Galilee and he went up to the mountain where he sat down. Great crowds came to him, bringing with him the lame, the maimed, the blind and the mute and many others. They put them at his feet and he cured them so that the crowd was amazed when they saw the mute speaking, the maimed whole, the lame walking and the blind seeing. And they praised the God of Israel. Then Jesus called his disciples to him and said, I have compassion for the crowd because they have been with me now for three days and have had nothing to eat. And I do not want to send them away hungry, for they might faint on the way. The disciples said to him, Where are we to get enough bread in the desert to feed so great a crowd? Jesus asked them, How many loaves have you? They said, Seven and a few small fish. Then, ordering the crowd to sit down on the ground, he took the seven loaves and the fish, and after giving thanks, he broke them and gave them to the disciples. And the disciples gave them to the crowds, and all of them ate and were filled, and they took up the broken pieces left over, seven baskets full. Those who had eaten were four thousand men besides women and children. After sending away the crowds, he got into the boat and went to the region of Magadan. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And so a short reflection on our reading from Matthew 15 by Jane Steen. Matthew often tells us that Jesus sat down on a mountain by a lake in a boat. St Augustine detected a graceful pause before Jesus spoke in chapter 5. We notice the same pause here. Jesus sits, then people come and he cures them. To sit down should be to remain. We hurry, ever even seated in our cars. I sat on a bench waiting for something. An angel, perhaps, wrote Mary Oliver. She saw none because I didn't stay long enough. But when the Son of God came along, came among us, he sat, stayed and remained. That is the mystery of the incarnation for which Advent readies us. God with us, God remaining. God sitting down. We are told that too much sitting is bad for us. We should get up, walk around a bit more, like Jesus. He seems always at it, crisscrossing the land, teaching, feeding, healing. But remember too, his sleeping in the storm-tossed boat. Being God, he was at rest in God. So in today's reading, he acts powerfully while seated, his pose directing us to his and our right repose. Two weeks of Advent are yet left to us. We have made us, you have made us for yourself, we read. O Lord, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you, wrote Augustine. We announce our restlessness, resolving to remain with the Lord.
we say the Benedictus together. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And so let us pray together. That this and all our days may be full of your praise. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That you would keep us this day without sin. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That we may walk before you in the paths of righteousness and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That you will bless your people and lift them up for ever. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That you will guide and protect us by your Holy Spirit and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Amen. And the collect for today. O Lord, raise up, we pray, your power and come among us and with great might succour us, that whereas through our sins of wickedness we are grievously hindered in running the race that is set before us, your bountiful grace and mercy may speedily help and deliver us. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is, with, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honour and glory for ever and ever. Amen. And so... Awaiting his coming in glory, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And so may the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, it's been a joy as ever to pray with you. I do apologise for not being uh, well enough to be seen on camera, uh, but I do hope that you have been able to, as I say, engage with the service as usual. I will see you again soon, uh, and I hope that you are enjoying this season of Advent. God bless. <laughs>